Using Drafts' built-in powerful tagging support, you can organize your notes, filter them, or even turn them into workspaces. Let me show you how. I've got this list of notes here and I want to start tagging them. I'll go ahead and click on the favorite Latin sayings to begin with, scroll to the top, and then I'll tap on the tagging icon button. And then that opens up the ability to add a tag. I'm going to put this for personal because these are just some of my personal notes. And since that doesn't exist, once I hit return, it'll now add it and you can see it appears on the right there. And I'll also add one for Latin. Maybe I'm going to have a bunch of notes about Latin sayings. So I've now added a couple tags and I can go back to my notes list and you'll see that it's there at the top and those two tags are listed, personal and Latin. I've got a few more here that are personal, so like books to read is one, and I don't have to type the tagging because it already exists. If I just tap on the uh, tagging button, you'll see there's personal at the bottom. I'll just tap the button and I'm done. And the same thing for my cooking. So there I've got three marked as personal. I've got a couple more here. There's a blog post, which I will go ahead and tag as blog. And that added the new tag for blogs. I've got another one here for blogging. So I'll go ahead and tap on the tagging bar and then tap on the blog tag and I've added it. And then finally, here's one with my grocery list. And that is another personal one. Okay, now I've got a bunch of them tagged. I can filter them by tapping on the filter button or swiping from left to right. There's a list of all the tags that I've applied so far. If I just tap on personal, for instance, I will then get a list of all of my personal tags. If I tap on personal plus Latin, now I will just get the single note that has the Latin sayings in it. I can remove the Latin tag just by tapping on it. And once I do that, you'll see that it's now got the complete list of personal tags. Somewhat related to tags are flags. So I'm going to go back into the filter remove the personal tag so I have all of my lists here and I can go through and select specific notes and apply a flag just by tapping the little flag icon in the tag window. And I'm going to apply a flag to a blog post and the favorite Latin sayings. So these go across tags, but they give you yet one additional way to call attention to your notes. As you get more advanced with tags, you're going to want more ways to filter them. For instance, I'm going to add a new tag called lists. And you can see I've got a couple items here that are both personal and lists. So there's the new tag on my grocery list. And then I've also got books to read. And I will add a tag to that as well. And then going back, I can run a filter that includes both personal and lists. And that's two items. So let's say I want to be able to access at any time notes that are my personal lists. I can create a workspace for that. Workspaces are a pro feature and totally worth it. To do that, go over to the ellipses on the right side of the screen. And you can see we're in the workspaces window. I've currently got two tags selected, so I'm going to save the current, and then I'm going to give it a name, Personal Lists. I'm even going to give it a color. I'll make it orange. When I'm done, uh, you can see that there's additional criteria here you can set for your workspace, but we're going to say to keep it simple now. It's two tags, Personal and Lists. I'll click the Done button, go back, and done. And I will remove the filters. Now if I want to go to that workspace, I just go back to the ellipses button and tap on the personal lists. And you can see now I've got a built-in workspace just around those tags. As you add additional notes to drafts, it's these workspaces that will help you keep everything organized. As you use more workspaces, you're going to want to customize them. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on the ellipses button again. And for instance, with this personal list, I can add a custom icon. To do that, just swipe over from right to left and then tap on the edit button. Then you can tap on the icon and you can see there's a whole variety to choose from here. I like that little gear and now I'll make it red. And going back to workspaces, you can also display them across the bottom of the screen. These are called quick access tabs and they're brilliant to keep your workspaces in easy reach. 
So I'm just gonna throw the switch for quick access tabs, click done, and then you can see on the bottom of the screen, there is my personal list workspace with a new icon. Now, before we move on, I've got all of my notes listed here, and I wanted to show you one last thing. Let's say I want to apply multiple tags without selecting individual notes. I can do that by tapping the select button, and I'm going to tap on grocery list and the sous vide timing. And then I'm going to tap on the operations button, and I'll say add tag, and I'll create a new tag called cooking. Click add. And now when you scroll up, you'll see that these two notes now have the cooking tag added to them. I can tap cancel to dismiss the multi-selection, and I've got a new tag to filter by, cooking. If you just take a few minutes to develop a strategy using these tags, flags, and workspaces, you can manage a lot of notes with drafts.